This presentation is about creating a backup device in SQL Server 2005. I'm Frank Salvatore from dbarecovery.com. The first thing that we'll cover is setting up a backup device from the GUI within SQL Server Management Studio. Then we're going to talk about the system store procedure that you can use to create a backup device. So we're going to cover it both uh, through the graphical user interface and also with a store procedure. So two ways to create a backup device. First off, what we're going to do is create a backup device within SQL Server Management Studio. You can see here in Object Explorer, under Server Objects, I have Backup Devices. And I'm going to go ahead and right click on Backup Devices, New Backup Device, and I'm going to provide a new screen pops up for Backup Device, a pop-up. going to type in Test Backup GUI. And we can also specify, specify a physical file location if we wanted to. But we're going to go ahead and just accept the default. And we're going to click OK. We look back in Object Explorer under Server, Server Objects and Backup Devices. There's our new backup device. So that worked great. Next, we're going to take a look at how to create a backup device using the System Stored Procedure Add Dump Device. And that is on this tab. I already have the Sprock with parameters ready for execution, but first I want to go over the parameters. The first parameter you'll notice says disk. This can either be disk or tape. In my case here, it is a local disk, but you can always have the device located somewhere out on your network. The next parameter is a logical name that you'll be providing your backup device. This is how you refer to the device through both SQL Server Management Studio and T-SQL. Finally, the third parameter is the path to the physical location of your backup device. These are all the parameters that you'll need to know for the add dump device sprock. We're going to go ahead and execute this sprock, and we notice that it did complete successfully. We'll refresh our backup devices, and there is our test backup device that we created through the system store procedure. Before I wrap this tutorial up, let me point out right now that this is just a tutorial. In a production environment, you never want to have your backup device on the same physical disk as any of your database or transaction log files. You don't want to lose all your data and your backups in one nasty disaster. So make sure that you don't store your backups in the same physical location as your data. Well, I hope you uh, enjoy this presentation. And uh, please contact me at dbarecovery.com if you have any questions.